Automation is a huge part of the create mod. And so far, we've automated all of the wood types. We've automated iron, props, and even XP. But as a builder, I need to start automating some more blocks so I can, well, build. That's why today we're going to build a building block factory and do some building because I like building. OK, let's go. And between episodes here, I have been doing quite a lot of terraforming. You can see that this huge area at the base here has been flattened out and just made to look a lot tidier. And I'm thinking that this spot here is going to be a pretty good spot for today's project. And I think it should frame this area of the build pretty nicely, because if you can imagine like a nice big building sort of here, when we're in this area, we're going to be pretty surrounded by buildings. So, yep, just behind me is going to be the location for today's project. But we probably need to talk about what blocks we're actually going to be automating and they're going to be cobble stone gravel sand glass clay and bricks which as you can imagine for someone that's not great at create well that's going to be quite a challenge so i think we'll just take this a couple blocks at a time and i think we're going to start with cobble and also stone and well we're going to need quite a few things to craft this machine mainly these mechanical drills i'm probably going to need stuff like in case chain drives oh we're also going to need gearboxes and stuff oh this is going to take a while right let me grab some bits and then we're going to jump straight into it. Let's get automating. All right, I think I've got everything that I'm going to need to get started with this thing. You can see we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. I had to go ahead and craft some more of these crushing wheels using that stupid mechanical crafting thingy that I hate so much. But look at us, six of these things. But before we can actually start automating and making machines, well, we're going to need to sort out a little bit of power. Now, last episode, we did this really cool windmill and everywhere else we're actually using water wheels. But uh, yep, all the crate pros are probably going to hate me because... um. Uh, yeah, I'm using 20 large wall wheels, probably because I'm an idiot. But this is what we're rolling with, and hopefully it's going to be enough power for this thing. This is by far the most amount of wall wheels I've used for a machine, so yeah, fingers crossed this works out, because now it's time to actually start automating some cobblestone. Now, I have actually already done this once in this world. If we just hop into the iron farm here, you can see up here we have a cobblestone generator with lava and water, and then these mechanical drills are actually mining the stone. So I'm going to try and recreate like a little mini version of that over here. So for the first time this episode... Time lapse. All right, first little bit of automation is in. And as you can see over here, we're getting quite a lot of cobblestone already. This thing's only been running for about two minutes. So, yep, we got this thing running pretty fast. As you can see here, we've got some lava making some stone. And just in there, you can see the drill things mining the stone, which gets picked up by these chutes and put into this chest. But from this little cobblestone generator, we're actually also going to make some stone as well. So what we actually need to do here is actually bring out another belt this way, maybe to like here. And you know what? Just for now, let's actually just shut this thing off. Otherwise, we're going to have way too much stone. But what we're actually going to do is split this cobblestone using these tunnels. So now half the cobblestone is going to go into this chest. And then the other half is going to come along our new belt here. Now, underneath this belt, we just need to set up a little fan system. And honestly, to power it, I'm just going to use this little water wheel. Oh, the create people are going to be even more mad now. Let's chuck our fan on here and just check this is spinning the right way. Absolutely classic. It's spinning the wrong way. But there we go. We've got particles going upwards now, which means I can just fill in this little hole, put some lava here. Here. And any cobble that falls onto this block here should get turned into stone. Oh, thinking about it, I actually might want to move this thing. Oh, just give me one second. You'll find out why. Okay, there we go. Right, so we've got a lava there now, which means if I put a chest here, brass funnel there and there, we want this thing to accept cobblestone and this to let out cobblestone. But what we can do is actually set an exact amount for it to output. So I want this to only output when we have one stack of cobble in there. That way, when we input the items, which should be stone, just just got to set the filter. There we are. Cobble should just wait here until it's smelted and then stone will end up in this chest. At least that's the theory anyway. So without further ado, let's give this thing a try. Oh, cobblestone isn't going into this chest anymore. Oh dear. Oh God. Right, extend this along a little bit. We'll get another chest there and a funnel. Yep, cobble's going back in. We're all good. Ooh. Oh, what have I done? I've broken stuff. I think we need you there. Yes, I think cobble's going in. Oh, and cobble's getting smelted. Okay, this is the simplest thing. And for some reason, I'm struggling. But and yes, we can see even more cobbles gathering up in this chest waiting to be smelted. But hopefully that will turn into stone. Yo, let's go. Automatic stone and a whole bunch of automatic cobble. I mean, I guess what I could do, seeing as so much cobble's building up here, I could make another shoot of this just to make even more stone. But you know what? I'll leave space for it and we'll just see how it goes for now. Because I'm not really too 
too sure how this thing is going to work out. But with this little machine out the way, it's time to move on to something a lot more complicated. Because our next machine is going to make us gravel, sand, and glass. And if I struggle with this thing, then, um, yep, I'm definitely going to be struggling with the next. So, once again, guys, let's kick it into a time lapse. Okay, well, now my brain hurts, but I think I have got this absolute monstrosity working. Granted, I've probably done it in a really, really stupid way, but you know what? I don't care, because now we have an automatic supply of gravel, which is collecting in this chest here. Then that gravel is being crushed into sand, which is being collected in this chest here. And that sand gets split off, where it's being cooked into a whole bunch of glass. And then as a byproduct of crushing sand, we also have flint, which I didn't really anticipate, and then also clay, which ends up into this basin gets pressed and turned into clay blocks. I mean, not really too many of those at the moment, but I'm not really too sure what I'm going to use that for, so don't think I'm going to need a whole lot of that right now. But there's a whole bunch more blocks ticked off our checklist. And uh, yeah, this thing is getting pretty massive, which means once we do the next step of automation and start the building, well, yep, that is going to be pretty large. Now, let's quickly pop back to the workshop here and let's take a little look at what we need to do to automate bricks. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and automate these guys here. Now, of course, we all know we can just smelt clay, but of course, playing crate, so we're going to do some bolt blasting. Now, we do already have a supply of clay balls. We don't really have that many. I mean, this is how we're getting it now, just by crushing gravel. But what we can actually do is actually wash sand, and that gives us a 25% chance of clay. As opposed to at the moment, we're only getting a 5% chance. So to do that... Oh, geez, there is just cobblestone everywhere. I need to sort this out. But anyway, option one, which would probably be the easiest thing to do, would be to take some of this sand, wash it, and then cook it. Or I could build this entire machine again over on this side and just focus on the clay. So that'd be like skipping all the glass and also skipping all the sand. Spider, get out. Now I'm kind of leaning towards the easy method here. And we already have a whole ton of glass and a whole bunch of sand. I'm only really going to be using that for crafting. And of course, this thing is going to be running 24 seven while we're on this world. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with the easy route. Just let me grab the things that I need. Okay, let's figure this thing out. So we are going to want another belt that comes across this way, just like that. And we'll split it off stick our filter on, which I'm not really too sure if we actually need or not. But we're going to get another chest here with our brass funnels on it, just so we can set this to output a stack. And then from here is where we're actually going to make our bricks. So let's actually just extend this out a little bit. And we're going to want another chest here. And this is where the sand's actually going to be washed. So we actually want to give this thing a filter of a clay ball. And then under here is where we're going to... Oh, geez, we have lava. Right, this thing might have to move over one. Oh, this machine is getting way too big. Right, so we're going to put our little washer thing here. Can that just go there and move no oh geez this isn't good all right there we go fan on there oh i think this is gonna work right let's cover up all this mess pretend we can't see it chuck some water in like that and let's see if this thing turns into clay uh, i mean it should do come on i believe oh there it goes yes look at this we've got clay balls yo let's go right now all we need to do is just get a little bolt blasting thing put on the end of this which honestly is going to be super super simple though i am going to need a clay brick to set the filter should have one of these over in the storage system oh yeah there we go so that set the filter, make ourselves a little bolt blaster, water wheel, water, fan. Oh yeah, here we go. Make me some bricks. Yes, I think it's working. Oh, look at that, 17 bricks. All right, so I think we can call this machine completely working other than, um, yeah, not too sure why this cobble's going everywhere, but I don't know, maybe this stuff needs like blocking up more or something. I will get that figured out, maybe. But next up is actually going to be figuring out some sort of storage system for this machine, because I don't really want to be like hopping around it, grabbing gravel, coming all the way over here, grabbing some sand. Yeah, that isn't really quite going to cut it. And surprise, surprise, I haven't really thought that far ahead with this thing. So I'm going to need to have a little brainstorm. And honestly, this is going to be a pretty good opportunity to AFK this machine. Because once we move on to building, I'm going to be using a lot of these blocks for it, especially bricks. And this thing's going kind of slow. Well, I say that there's 34 in there already. But yeah, I'm going to have a little think about storage while this thing's running. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'll try fix that too. See you in a second. All right, I've been mooching around for the last like 30 minutes or so, and I think I have a plan. But first of all, as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of bricks here now. So stuff from the machine is building up pretty quick. The glass is full, the sand is full, the gravel is full. Yep, I think you get the point. Basically, everything is completely full. But thankfully, I think I've figured out a good storage solution. Now to make it, we are gonna need to craft a few little bits here. We're gonna need to craft a few stacks of barrels, which is nice and easy thanks to the saw. Oh, this thing is just so good. 
I always forget to use it, but every time I do, well, I've got to tell myself I need to use it all the time. Right, we need these barrels so that we can create a whole bunch more of these item vaults. Now, how many of these can we actually make? Nine. So I guess we're missing a whole bunch of these iron sheets. But thanks to our new create workshop, well, we can just chuck these up here. And now we've got four presses sorting those things out. Just got to wait here one second. All right, four stacks of iron sheets just like that. This create workshop's proved itself already. But with these, we should be able to make a whole bunch more of these item vaults. Yep, two stacks and nine. That is probably good. We're also going to need some shoots. Damn it, I used all the iron sheets. Oh, back over to this thing. Right, now we should be able to make some shoots. Yo, oh, there we go. 32, that is definitely going to be enough. I think also I'm probably going to need to craft some more belts. So I think we need to cook this kelp. And that should turn into the dry kelp. And now we can make a whole bunch of belts. So there we go. All right. So my plan over here is to actually dig out a big room underneath this machine so we can use these chutes to drop the items below that we picked up by a belt and then put into an item vault. Now, what I want to do here is I guess just dig down, I don't know, maybe to like here or and just do a whole bunch of digging. All right, absolutely ginormous room dug out underground. Next up, though, we need to pop out to the top. And where every item output is, I just actually want to dig a hole so that we can see where items are going to come down. Oh, geez. OK, so we've got a hole for our stone output. Let's maybe put the cobblestone one like here. Yep, that should work out good. Here we've got a gravel one. Flint, clay. We'll have glass and bricks. All right, hopefully this should be pretty obvious what I need to do now. Items are going to be falling out of the ceiling here. Okay, that was extremely dangerous. What the heck happened there? Okay, where was I? Yeah, that's right. Items are going to be falling out of the ceiling here. So that means next up is getting a whole series of belts to actually catch the items. And I think we'll bring those all the way down over this way. And right here is where we're going to have our big item vaults, which will be a little something like this. Right, I'm not too sure how many items of those things are going to be able to hold, but well, I assume it's going to be quite a lot. So let me just sort out my inventory quickly because it is an absolute mess. And then we'll get all of these belts put in. All right, so back over here, I think, is our furthest drop off point. And that is probably the brick. So this is actually where we're going to start our conveyor belt. And just to stay on theme, we'll of course power it with a water wheel. I guess let's just bring that to about here. Hopefully the conveyor belt will stretch to that far. Well, it doesn't. So I guess we'll just put another thing here instead. There we go. All right, this thing is going to catch a whole ton of items, I think. I mean, now that I'm doing this, I guess I could have used like water streams or something. But I mean, I suppose that's probably not going to create as much lag as these things. Yeah, I got a good PC. I'm sure this will be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Right, over here we have our stone and our cobblestone. So once again, we'll power that with a water wheel. So I have a conveyor belt there and a conveyor belt here. So I think that should be all the items caught. Now we do actually need to get them into these things. This one's kind of in the wrong place though. So let's redo this one. We'll just put it right next to it. Just one more lot of conveyor belts. You could mobs. And one more set of power. That should be pretty much it. I just need to nip out to the top again so I can grab some brass funnels, which are actually just going to go along here like this. This should input the items into the item vault. I mean, let's just try it with a bit of dirt. Why not? There we go. You can see just at the top, we got two dirt in there. So now all that's left to do for this thing is to actually just get the items to drop down onto those conveyor belts, which I think should be as easy as this. Oh my, yep, I think that might be working. Oh geez. Well, let's just dump all this down the hole. I'm sure that'll sort itself out, right? Oh geez, I probably should check, but this <laughs> is just items everywhere. Oh dear. Oh, what have I done? This thing's meant to be smelting glass. You know what? I'll be right back. And look at this thing. It is actually fully working now. We've got loads of items coming into here. See, there's all our gravel, flint, clay, a bit of cobble, sand, and glass. And over in this one is a whole bunch more. Probably a couple of things that shouldn't be in there, but that is not to worry. I do wish it would say like some sort of indication of how full these things are. I mean, maybe there's something I can do about that. I might have to do a little bit of research. Oh, it's Rofo again. One thing that we're definitely going to do this episode is hook up those item vaults to our storage system over there, because that'll be how we actually access all the items. But I think for now, I kind of want to work on a little bit of building. You can see here that this whole machine has turned into quite the monstrosity. Though, you know what? Some of it does actually look pretty cool. So I think I have a little bit of a plan for a build. I think what I'm going to do is do like another sort of like raised structure like we have over at the storage room. Put that up here so that roughly the floor height of the building is going to be at this level. So I kind of thought it'd be pretty cool to have like a glass floor here, just so we can see all the machine working and stuff. But overall, I really want to try and use all the blocks that this machine is making to actually make the factory building itself. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. So once again, I need to go away and have a little bit of a think and I'll probably get this whole like retaining wall sort of thing figured out as well. But once I've done that, I'll bring it back and then we can start doing some real building.
Okay, so I got some sort of a rough platform here. Like I said, I tried to go with the same theme to what we have over here. But if we pop up, you can see we've got a nice platform to walk around on. I started to try mess around with this like sort of display kind of thing. This, of course, is going to need quite a lot of work. But you may notice these strip spruce blocks here. I think this is where the building's going to go. I'm hoping that this is going to work out. And just to mix things up a little bit with this building, I think the main part of it, the roof is going to be sort of pointing up this way. Because you'll notice that all the buildings in this area here, we can just see sort of the side of the roof. So yeah, on this one, we're going to try and make the roof point on this side. Over on this side here, I've kind of just left it for now. So I'm not really too sure if I'm going to sort of terraform over this and just cover it with dirt. Or maybe extend the building out this way a little bit. We're going to have to see how this first phase of building goes. Which we're going to start right now. I think on the bottom here, we're just going to have some spruce pillars and get these going all the way around. A little something like this. Oh yeah, one thing I also did between clips there was link up a simple storage thing. So now we can actually see what the machine's making. Still haven't linked up to main storage yet, but at least we can grab the items from the farm now. Like I said before, I really want to use the blocks that this farm is making. So on the first layer, we're going to have a mix of cobblestone and gravel, which is nice and easy to get in thanks to our trowel. Let's just get the front in here and just take a little step back and see what it looks like. I mean, I imagine this is probably going to be uh, a big load of grey, but yeah, I think that's going to work. Probably come in and add texture with the moss and stuff, just like we did over on the storage room. So let's take a little bit of time and get the rest of this added in. All right, this is starting to take shape a little bit now. And it's time to start the next layer of this building. Now we have all of these blocks at our disposal here. And I think the next one that I want to use is actually going to be sand. But with that, we should be able to craft quite a bit of sandstone. And let's also take a bit of sand as well. And let's actually just pop the crate workshop real quick. Because we should be able to use our bulk blaster here to try and make some smooth sandstone. Oh yeah, get blasted. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, bulk blasting is just so good. Right, I also want to see if I have any spruce stairs here. Because I think I might want to use those to maybe extrude out this wall a little bit. So let's just work on this first wall together. I think we'll just extend up this spruce and then chuck a stair coming out just like this. And then from here, I think I'm going to bring this strip spruce up another four blocks. Hopefully this works out. And just so we can see how it looks, let's just fill this in with some sandstone. Probably going to leave some gaps here for windows and stuff. Oh, this building drain just makes this so much easier. I love it. All right, granted we need some texture and stuff here, but yeah, I think that color is going to work. Now I've left this gap here for a little bit of detail. Just want to grab a few sprucey bits here. Let's maybe fill in this gap with some oak wood. Let me get some more spruce stairs under here. We'll get a few trap doors as well. And I'm thinking if I run a whole bunch of slabs across here, oh, maybe get rid of these stairs, actually. And let's actually try and replace them with these barrels. That should be a nice little bit of extra detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's starting to look good. Let's maybe try and get our stairs back in here, just underneath these barrels. A couple of extra trap doors. I'm really liking that archway there, but underneath it's looking a little bit flat. I mean, maybe we could just chuck a trap door in there for a little archway. Yeah, that's actually looking so much better, you know. Let me just get the rest of these ones done. Yo, this is starting to look good. I think we could probably chuck in some windows in this section here as well. So let's quickly make ourselves some glass panes and we'll get all of these thrown in. And let's also get some texture thrown into this sandstone. So we can use our smooth and we can use our regular sand. Yo, and that's actually looking really fancy right now. At least for a first level of detail anyway. It still needs like a whole bunch of decorating and stuff. Stuff like flower pots, a bit of moss, some leaves. But I think we'll get onto that at the end. For now though, I think I'm going to go away and get the rest of these walls done. And once that's complete, we can start working on the roof. All right, gang, little progress update. I have managed to get all of these walls completed. You can see they go right the way around the entire building now. And once I finished that, I kind of thought this thing's looking a little bit square. This is probably going to look a little bit awkward on its own. So I've mapped out another section with some cobblestone, where I think we're going to have a lower section of the building, probably just up to this stone layer and then a roof on top. But if we just land this drone quickly, you can see up here, I've added this little overhang thing just where our storage area is. Probably going to decorate this with some barrels and chests and stuff, but I've also tidied up the first floor and given it a little bit of detail. You can see we've got a bunch of these fluid tanks and copper pipes running around everywhere. Added a bunch of cogs and stuff to this back wall and kind of tidied up this big mess of a machine. I mean, I kind of do want it to look like a mess because, uh, hey, I'm not trying to pretend. I know this thing's inefficient, but honestly, you know what? I think this looks really cool. And as far as a second floor goes, well, it's probably just going to remain looking like this. I can't really see myself putting anything up here. But who knows in the future if we need space for something, then we have it. But next up, guys, I think I want to try and get the roof sorted out, starting with probably the roof trim. And I think we're going to be making 
taking this stuff out of dark oak wood. And then for the actual inside of the roof, I'm sure you've all guessed it. Yep, that's right. I want to use these stone bricks. And that's all of them. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Now, I just want to pop back into the storage room once more and chuck these bricks over into the mason's table because, wow, look at all of these options. Oh, this is actually crazy. Um, I mean, that should give us a nice little bit of texture change. So I guess we'll craft a few of these. And I was wondering, is there some sort of mossy variant of this? Mm, maybe in the stone cutter? No. But for now, let's try and work out this roof shape. I know for sure over on this side, we're just going to have like a little run of slabs. And over on this side is actually where we're going to start our pointy roof thingy, which I think I probably want to start like at this block here. Just so I can leave some extra room for some spruce details. Uh, let's maybe come up a few slab heights. Then I think we're going to start coming up some full blocks, maybe to like there. And then we're going to start coming up two, I think. And this one should be our last one. Oh, yep, yeah, this is pretty high up. All right, let's take a little fly away and see what this thing's starting to look like. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty cool. Maybe this middle one needs to come one block higher, but yeah, I think overall that's okay. Let me just get the rest of this frame in. All right, looking good, looking very grand. Now just to grab my trowel and get the rest of this roof built in. Okay, everyone, the roof is on. And I think this thing's looking pretty all right. Of course, we still need to add all our details onto here. But yeah, I think overall the shape's okay. One thing I think I'm going to do is actually just change up this middle bit of the roof trim. Now that I've had a bit of time to think about this, I'm not really too sure about it. Yeah, I think that's looking a little bit cleaner. And you may notice some other changes here as well. Because while waiting for more bricks, I decided that I'd go ahead and add this little building extension on. And I sorted out the terraforming here too. And I've got to say, I think that's done a lot of good for this building. There's not really anything inside, but well, it's just more of an exterior aesthetic kind of thing. But I think it's just about time to start doing some detailing on this thing. I've got most of the things that I need. I just need to farm a little bit of moss, which honestly, I think I'm just going to do underground here. Okay, now we can finally craft some of this mossy brick stuff. Oh yes, look at that. You know what, well, let's actually get two stacks of this because I think this is going to look so cool on our roof. Right, let's just try a little patch of this here. Fill it in with some moss. Then around the edges of the moss, we're going to put our mossy bricks. And then what I like to do is just try and blend it in a little bit. So it looks a little something like that. Let me just throw a little bit of bone meal on this thing. Oh yeah, and that is starting to look pretty fancy. Well, one thing I may do actually is grab some of this moss carpet and maybe just put a little bit of this in like the blending areas. Oh yeah, I think this is going to look good, you know. Yo, I like that a lot. Right, I think I'll leave the rest of that roof for now. I'll get that done in a bit. So I want to move on to some other detailing pieces with you. Next up is going to be these flower pot things. These are just so cool. As you can see, they're super simple to craft. Just some planks, slabs and dirt and that gives you three of them. And I use these over on the storage building, as you can see. But those ones are acacia. And you can actually plant flowers in these things. Such a nice little detail for putting under your windows. Because, yo, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also crafted some brick chimneys. Probably going to put a few of these around. No, thinking about it, uh, they look really stupid. Maybe we need a chimney like we have over on the XP farm. Yeah, I'll probably get that done. But next up, I just wanted to work out the front of this building because, of course, we need some actual stairs in this place. So let's get these put in just like that. And I thought, as soon as we have this wheat field here, maybe we should just try and extend this rustic wall. Maybe bring it around here from the stairs, give it a little bit of decoration, and perhaps turn this little area into another field. Now, I guess what I actually want to do is probably bring the wall over this way just to enclose the field. So we have a nice little space like this. But now we actually need to fill it with some sort of crop. But me being very smart and thinking ahead, I've been farming a whole bunch of these peonies here over in the botany area. So let's grab all of these that we have. Hopefully this can be enough to fill up the field. So I suppose if we run out, we can always bow meal it. We've got plenty of that stuff thanks to the mob farm. Or now just to do a whole bunch of clicking. Yep, I definitely didn't have enough. Yo, look at that. That is looking so good. Oh, man, we definitely need a few more fields in this area, right? Pretty cool detail for filling in some empty space. Though, now I think about it, I realize I don't actually have a path to this building. I should probably get that done. Yes, yes, much better. But with all that done, I just need to add the final details here, mainly to the roof. So I'm going to get that sorted and I'll see you when it's done. Thank you. 
And here we go. I think I'm just about ready to call this build finished. Adding that moss in the chimney has made such a huge difference. And I gotta say, overall, pretty happy with how this thing's turned out. One thing I did add between clips there is actually a little bit more of an interior. I mean, I've got a couple of these tables, I've got a desk and a chair, I've got a few more spinning cogs and stuff. But me being really, really smart, I've added an on and off switch. So now if the system's getting a bit too full, well, we can just stop the whole system. But I mean, for now, I'm gonna keep it running. But yo, look at this 15k stone, 13k cobblestone. Oh, we're getting so much free stuff now. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.